today's presentation. Welcome everyone to this virtual community meeting for the upcoming Arlington Heights and Greater Como Streets Improvement Project. My name is Sandeep Yupreti, and I'm the project manager with the City of Fort Worth Transportation and Public Works Department. This presentation is meant to provide you with some information about the project scope improvements and to seek community input during the development of the project. Here is the agenda of what I hope to cover in my brief presentation. I will be talking about the project as a whole, providing a summary of improvements on each street associated with this project and discussing the expected schedule moving forward. Then we'll open up for any questions or comments regarding the project. First, we'll talk about the overall scope of the improvement associated with this project. The scope of project includes 15 street, streets listed here. They are at the avenue from West Dixon Street to West Pafford Street, Carver Drive from Prevost Street to Harvey Street, Fernander Drive from Prevost Street to Harvey Street, Fraser Avenue from Claven Road to West Bedison Street, Fraser Avenue from West Bolt Street to Flint Street, Townsend Drive from West Drew Street to Flint Street, Wayside Avenue from West Drew Street to West Bolt Street, Bolt Street from McCart Avenue to East Rail Railroad, Carver Drive from Prevost to Merrick Street. Dixon Street from James Avenue to Ryan Avenue. Drew Street from Wayside Avenue to Fraser Avenue. Prevost Street from Carver Street to Vickery Boulevard. Town Saint Drive from West Drew Street to Pafford Street. Wayside Avenue from Bedison Street to Butler Street. Wayside Avenue from Dixon Street to Wangoman Street. In the next couple of slides, I will show you the existing condition of this street and give you a breakdown of the proposed improvements. Here on the, are the representative photos of the existing condition of the streets. On the slide, we can see Frazier and intersection of Townsend and West Bolt Street, all with deteriorated pavement. On this slide, you can see similar conditions of deteriorated asphalt pavement all along the roadway. You can also see damaged driveway and sidewalk, damaged curb and gutter on Fraser Avenue. On this slide, you see similar condition of deteriorated asphalt pavement on 8th Avenue and West Dixon Street. The highlighted section includes the 2022 bond funded streets for this project. The improvement of streets number 8 through 15 are funded by Water Department. The improvements your street is getting depend on whether the street improvement is a bond funded or water department funded. 8th Avenue from West Dixon Street to West Bafford Street is a bond funded street and will have the improvements at shown. For a typical bond funded street, in addition to upgrading the water and sewer lines, the pavement improvements include new pavement with concrete curbs, replacing your concrete driveways with a minimum of 11 feet or matching the existing width of your driveways and five foot sidewalk on both sides of the street, streets when possible. The next couple of slides, street number two, one to seven, so the 2022 bond funded street improvements. The proposed improvements among these bond funded streets are similar. We can revisit to discuss this later if needed. 
proposed improvements for Carver Drive and Prevost Street. It's shown. I'll move to another slide. Pr proposed improvements for Fernanda Drive from Prevost Street to Harvey Street. It's a bond funded street and the improvements are very similar. Proposed improvements for Fraser Avenue from Claiborne Road to West Bedison Street. Again, it's a bond funded street and the improvements are similar. Fraser Avenue from West Bolt Street to Flint Street. Townsend Drive from West Drew Street to Flint Street. Wayside Avenue from West Drew Street to West Bolt Street. This is the last bond funded street on this list. Uh, all seven bond funded streets will have new paving with concrete guard corps new driveways and a five foot sidewalk on both sides of the street when possible. Now I'll go through the street improvements funded by water department. West Bowl Street from McCart Avenue to East Trail Road is within the scope of the water department. The proposed improvements for West Bowl uh, from McCart Avenue to East Trail Road include new asphalt payment and will replace the curb and gutters and driveways only that are in bad shape. The next couple of slides show the water department funded streets. The proposed improvements for water department funded streets are similar. So I'll just show you the slides. We can revisit to discuss this later if needed. Trevor Drive from Prevost to Merrick Street is in the water department scope. Proposed improvements are shown. Dixon Street from James Avenue to Ryan Avenue is a water scope street. The proposed improvement is same. What West Drew Street from Wayside Avenue to Fraser Avenue. This slide so the improvement for Prevost Street from Trevor Street to Vickery Volleyball. The water department funded street. Proposed improvement for Townsend Drive from West Drew Street to Pafford Street. The improvement includes upgrading existing six inch water to 18 water line and the paving improvements include new asphalt pavement. Wayside Avenue from Bedison Street to Butler Street is also water department scope. Wayside Avenue from Dixon Street to Wagaman Street. This is the last uh, street that is in water department scope. The improvements include upgrading existing six inch water line to eight inch water line and new asphalt pavement. So this is an example of what newly constructed street looks like with new pavement, 
new concrete carbon gutter and new driveways. Additionally, we have pictures to give everyone a vision of what the new sidewalk and pedestrian ramp crossing will look like. Now we'll be moving on to the project schedule and upcoming milestone. There are many milestones in this project. In particular, the anticipated construction date is November 2024, ending in February 2026. Um, I also want to mention that uh, we will be having a pre-construction public meeting to give detailed information uh, before construction starts and want to, what to expect. Similar to this meeting, you'll receive mailer cards with assigned date for the pre-construction meeting. If you would like to stay updated on this project, please go to the first link below. You can also go to www.fortworthtexas.gov and enter the project uh, number 104212 in the search bar on the home page. This will allow you to be directed to the official web page, which will contain updated information uh, throughout the course of the project. If you want to know more information about the 2022 bond, you can access this by going to the link below. Now we'll go ahead and open up this meeting for questions or comments. Hello, um, we have a question. We wanted to see if there was a way or if it was possible to put like speed bumps because at times um, the cars are driving too fast and sometimes there's children, you know, and just so we can see if we can put if there, if that's a, if that's an option. Yes. Uh, what street uh, are you? It's on West side, sir. Uh, pardon. West side street. West side. Yes. No, tienes tu tu micrófono. Juan Sánchez, por favor, apague el micrófono. Se escucha todo. Yes, we'll definitely look into it. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Sandeep, we cannot install these bombs without a study. This request needs to go to uh, transportation management. It's not up yeah. to us. Yeah, that's why you uh, know, we said we'll look into uh, it. We'll do research and... Ma'am, um, we would recommend the, the request to, sub, to install the speed hump after we finish our project. Because whenever we reconstruct the street, we will have to remove them. So you may want to wait until we finish construction. This is only design meeting. We'll have another one before we start construction. Um, but after we finish construction, the street will be also more smooth. So they will have to conduct a study and see how many car speeding and all of that. And based on that, they can decide if they can install a speed hump um, or a speed cushion, what we call it now. So um, this needs to be done after we finish our construction. We cannot do it as, as part of the project. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mary.
Is there any more there, questions? There, there's a question in the chat, and the question is um, regarding bond funded streets and what that means to be funded by a bond. And so, what that means is that the city um, had a bond proposal back in 2022. It was voted on by the city, uh, the residents of the city of Fort Worth, to provide funding for um, uh, street improvement projects around the city. And so, the streets in this project that are designated as bond funded streets are receiving funding from that bond to make those improvements. So, that's what that means. And also, I just placed a link to the web page for this project in the chat so you can link to it from there. Is there any question? Sandeep, it looks like there's another one in the chat. Can you please go back to the schedule slide? Uh, okay. So the question was when uh, they could expect construction to start. Uh, we are anticipating the construction to begin on November 24th. Please let us know if that answers your question. Is there any follow up question? It looks like there's one more in the chat. So the question is, is that the date for all the streets getting improvements? So the answer to that question is that's the start, uh, anticipated start date for construction for the entire construction package. Um, so at this point, we don't know what order the contractor is going to go as far as which streets will go first. We'll have better clarity on that once we have a contractor on board and have their schedule and we'll have a pre-construction community meeting to address just that once we get a little closer. Okay, uh, here is my contact information. Uh, feel free to reach out to me by phone or email if you have any follow-up questions or comment. I will leave this slide up for a little while so that you can have chance to copy the information and uh, if there is no additional question then i would like to adjourn the meeting thank you everyone